Welcome to my lecture online. Here's our first video in a new playlist where we're going to talk about inverse trigonometric functions, also known as arc functions, and we'll see that in just a moment. So what is an inverse trigonometric function? Well, it turns out that when we try to find the cosine or the sine of an angle, we get a ratio of the sides of a triangle. For example, if we have an angle that's 30 degrees and we're trying to find the sine of that angle, we realize that the sine is equal to the ratio of the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So in this case, that would be 5 divided by 10. So therefore, the sine of 30 degrees is 5 over 10 or 1 half. Well, inverse functions, they give you the ratio and they then want you to calculate the angle back. So it does the reverse. And so here you can see that if you take the inverse function of the sine of the ratio of 5 over 10, which is the same as saying the inverse function of sine one of 1 half, that gives you back the angle of 30, 30 degrees. So it essentially gives you the opposite. You get the ratio of the sides and then you find the angle from that. That's what we call the inverse trigonometric function. So here we have some examples. If the sine of 30 degrees is 1 half, then the inverse sine of 1 half is 30 degrees. Now it doesn't matter if it's done with degrees or radians. We can say the sine of pi over 6 is equal to 1 half. Therefore, the inverse sine of 1 half is pi over 6. Pi over 6 in radians, of course, is the same as 30 degrees. We can also call it the arc sine. So if the sine of 30 degrees is 1 half, the arc sine of 1 half equals 30 degrees. So you'll see both notations. You'll see the arc sine, which tends to be kind of an older notation, or you'll see the inverse sine, which is probably now the more common notation of the inverse trigonometric function. So here you can see that the cosine of 45 degrees is 0.707. Therefore, the inverse cosine of 0.707 gives you 45 degrees. The tangent of 45 degrees is equal to 1, therefore the inverse tangent of 1 is equal to 45 degrees. So it simply is the other way around. It gives you the angle back once you plug in the ratio. So here, looking at the triangle, you can simply see that the cosine, and here we have the cosine of 30 degrees, is equal to the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse, which is 8.66 divided by 10, which is 0 0.866. Then if we take the inverse cosine function of 0.866, we get back the angle of 30 degrees. So the definition is, it is a function that will give you back the angle when given the ratios of the sides of a triangle. So that is as simple as it gets. That's what we call an inverse trigonometric function. Now, of course, there's a whole lot more to it than that. There's all kinds of, uh, uh, there's all kinds of identities that we need to remember, relationships between them. So there's more to it than that. But this is, simplistically speaking, the definition of what an inverse trigonometric function is. So stay tuned and we'll show you all the other goodies about what we do with inverse trigonometric functions.